what's up everyone welcome to my youtube channel for many years humans have traveled through space for various reasons the common mode of transportation is the rocket these things are capable of moving at high speeds and thus it is used in space travel they are complicated and have a complex system in today's video we'll be looking at the way rockets work there are four main parts to a rocket number one the structural system the framework that holds the whole thing together similar to the fuselage on a plane the frame is made from very strong but lightweight material such as aluminum or titanium it transmits the loads from the forces generated during the flight and to provide low aerodynamic drag for flight through the atmosphere number two the propulsion system this consists of the engine fuel tanks and any other rocket boosters it generates the thrust of the rocket number three the guidance system the onboard computer based navigation that steers the rockets to its destination it also provides a level of stability for the rocket number four the payload system consists of the stuff the rocket is carrying such as people satellites or even nuclear warheads in order for a rocket to work it requires combustion to form exhaust fumes thus the fire triangle is used the fire triangle is a model stating the necessary conditions to create a fire these conditions are fuel heat and an oxidizing agent depending on the type the fuel and oxidizing agent can either be liquid or solid the rocket's fuel and oxidizers are known as propellants a solid propellant rocket is cheaper and more efficient a common example is aluminum powder as a fuel and ammonium perchlorate as an oxidizing agent, which is then held together in a rubber like matrix. A liquid propellant rocket has a higher specific impulse and it can be throttled to control thrust. A common example is liquid hydrogen as a fuel and liquid oxygen as an oxidizing agent. These are stored in low temperatures. Rockets generate a force in an upward direction known as thrust. The explosive chemicals released from the exhaust fumes leave the rocket at high speed, creating the thrust. The thrust depends on the mass and the speed of the rocket. Rockets operate under Newton's third law of motion. This states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. In this case, the rocket pushes the exhaust fumes backward, and this causes the rocket to move forward. There are two stages to the rocket launch. The first stage is aimed at leaving the atmosphere. This is done with the help of extra side boosters. The faster the rocket goes, the more air resistance it encounters. However, the higher it goes, the thinner the atmosphere gets. This causes the stress of the rocket to rise and then it eventually falls. In order to leave Earth, rockets must reach escape velocity. Escape velocity is the velocity required to leave the atmosphere of a planet and escape its gravitational force. On Earth, escape velocity is approximately 11.2 km per second, or 40,000 km per hour. Escape velocity is about energy, and the amount of kinetic energy required to leave Earth. The second stage involves the separation of the rocket. The rocket drops off the payload. The rocket does not have to move to the atmosphere, and there is less transport. The rocket usually has only one engine right now. The scarlet part of the rocket falls back to Earth and it burns in the atmosphere. These parts are then recovered and then reused for further launches. A launch pad is a platform from which a rocket is launched. These are found in facilities called launch complexes or spaceports. A launch pad typically consists of a pad and a launch mount, a metal structure that supports the upright structure before it launches. The launch mount provides the rocket with power cooling liquids and top of propellant before launch. Launch pads also have features with minimized damage from the launch. Well everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you made it this far, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Comment down below any video ideas you have. I'll see you again in my next video. Goodbye.